What a what a world, this your homeboy Wordplay TJ and I'm back with another video for you. This time around, I'm going to answer some of your questions. Stay tuned. Alright, so before I jump into answering your questions, what I want to do is let you know who this video is sponsored by. This video is sponsored by my book, Fake Blues, Creating in the Face of Anxiety. It's my brand new book that's out now and it's for creatives that have a hard time staying creative and getting through that anxiety to keep making new stuff. The best part is that it's available on audiobook, so you can get a Audible free trial by clicking the link that's down in the description and checking my book out, Fake Blues Creating in the Face of Anxiety. Listen to it with your free trial, and then if you don't like Audible, then you can cancel, but if you like it, stay on, read more books that are available on Audible, um, suggest Donald Passman or something else music related and uh, go from there. So that's it, one last time, check out Fake Blues Creating in the Face of Anxiety. All right, so what I normally do is go to my computer and pick one question and stay on that same topic the entire uh, video, but this time around, I'm going to go to my computer and read a host of questions and comments because I haven't looked at them all month. Okay, so here we are at my computer and I'm going to go through these comments. This question is in reference to my Wikipedia video. How are you gonna talk about it if you can't help? Um, yeah, my reply is, it's not my job to get you a wiki page. <laughs> I'll just tell you how. So Noel Scale says, what do you think about Harry Fox Agency? So what I said is, uh, Harry Fox Agency is one of the longest running mechanical licensing agencies. Uh, they get the job done. You can, uh, you have to connect with them properly. Either you do it yourself or you use a publishing administrator. That's pretty much it. They're also a part of the mechanical licensing um, uh, collection or committee or whatever the MLC that is going to be uh, taking uh, mechanical royalties and, and giving us a boost in pay. So Jim McKirk uh, Music says, um, Hi TJ, first of all, thanks for your very useful, informative video. I put one of my songs on CD Baby Pro today and from what I read, it seems uh, like a decent deal. One, one thing I couldn't find out though is uh, whether or not I can upload the same song to Pond5 or Audio Jungle without breaking any rules. Can you help please? Thank you. All right, so my response is, hey Jim, I'm not sure what Pond5 or Audio Jungle is, but um, are they distribution services? If so, I don't recommend you distributing your music with two distributors at the same time unless they direct, uh, they direct to totally different retailers with no overlap. That's my answer. So Youngblood says, uh, hey, Wordplay TJ, I watched all your videos. I view your videos about how to get artist songs off of Apple and Spotify artist profiles, but how do I get another artist song off my Deezer artist page? I need your help. So my answer is, I believe the best way is to reach out to your distributor or Deezer artist support to fix it. Um, and make sure your name isn't common to avoid this issue in the future. Reply. So Butter asks, Hey, I duplicated the same song. How do I delete one? Uh, there's really not much info on deleting works. I recommend you, you contact your PRO. Uh, Cabby Williams. Hmm? Hmm. So JTV Media says, what about if you don't do music? Uh, referring to Google Knowledge Panels. Um, I'm gonna give my generic answer. So my recommendation to everybody is Google Knowledge Panels are an algorithm based function that requires people to be searching for your brand and clicking on your content across the web. So my recommendation for everyone is one, make sure you're searchable and two, increase the traffic to your pages. Reply. 
So eruption from uh, Mean Cook Up ENT says, when used on Instagram stories, my songs are linked to the wrong IG profile. Any insight on this? My reply is, I'm honestly not sure when this will be rolled out so you can fix it. Until it is, we have to wait. Reply. So Jesus Velasquez, Velasquez says, I have a question. What's the difference between Song Trust, Harry Fox Agency, and Music Reports? Are they all the same? Do I sign up with them all? Can I sign up with them? Uh, all of them? Can I sign up with all of them? Um, so my answer is Harry Fox Agency and Music Reports are mechanical licensing agencies. They help you license your work to music streaming companies. Song Trust is a publishing administrator. They help you deliver your song registrations to HFA and Music Reports. So there's a lot of questions um, in this question and I'm gonna try to answer all of them. So Yaoism says, um, so let's say I join ASCAP as a songwriter and a publisher. Would I still need to register with a publisher, song trust, publisher administrator? Um, would it be more beneficial to find a publisher other than one of the PROs provided? Can I even do that? Or do I have to just choose one? Are you saying that ASCAP doesn't fully collect foreign royalties? If I sign up with ASCAP as a publisher, is Harry Fox necessary? Is it better? Here's what I think the issue is. I think you're equating all of these at the same, so I'm going to answer it that way. So my answer is, number one, if you join ASCAP as a publisher or songwriter, you do not need a publishing administrator, Song Trust. They will collect your royalties globally, so it's not really a big deal. Um, BMI and ASCAP are your only options in the US and you um, and you can only be signed up with one at a time as a writer but you can register with both as a publisher um, it's not really necessary though CSAC is in the US but it's by invite only so it's hard to get in there so BMI or ASCAP your best bet um, you still need to register with a mechanical licensing agency like Harry Fox agency, even if you sign up with ASCAP because they collect different royalties. So ASCAP collects publishing royalties for the songwriter and the publisher. Uh, Harry Fox agency collects mechanical royalties for you giving out the permission to uh, stream their recording. Song Trust can help you complete all these registrations at one time so you don't have five different logins with five different companies to do all the registrations yourself. ASCAP, Music Reports, Harry Fox Agency, Sound Exchange, are all those companies where you have to do your registrations and so it's a lot of work once your catalog continues to grow. Ask Garrett, he knows. It's a lot of work. So that's it. I appreciate you watching this video. And until next time, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ. Peace. All right. So the video is over now. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know how you feel about it. And then watch more videos about the same subject up here. And then another video that YouTube recommends down here. Peace.